Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on the lovely Marwell Manor Farm. So first job uh, we're going to get on with this morning is I want to buy some more beef stock. So we're going to go off in the new Scania 480 V8 and we're going to go and collect some limousines. And first we've got to find out where the animal dealer is so it's there. So we're just going to go out of this road. And it looks pretty straightforward to get to, so we're just going to head there. Oh, that mirror freaked me out then. Thought the John Deere was moving with us. I'm looking forward to our first trip out in the uh, Scania. And the livestock trailer. Going to be good. We, um... I managed to get all the fields subsoiled off screen, I just thought it would be another job to get done and dust it out of the way. Whoa. There appears to be a tree falling down in the middle of the road there. We're going to have to clean that up. I think that might be quite a good job for the... Well, obviously the chainsaw, we'll have to get a chipper as well and then we can start getting some of our biofuel our wood chips for the grain dryer ready for harvest in the summer. We do need to get the clover in, in sown into the ground and stuff as soon as possible so we can get our first cut on that in the summer hopefully and then we can start bailing it up for the cattle and the sheep. A little overtake there. We're flying in this thing. Are we going to do another one? We easy. Right, we've got to make sure... Oh. got to make sure we know where the animal dealer is. That's the shop, I think. Yes. Get round him. not this one I think it's the next one I'm looking forward to getting some more beef herd on the uh, farm it's a brilliant source of income really our other main job today is going to be like I said planting the clover might have to put the uh, markers down just to find out exactly where it is but we'll, we'll give it a go anyway there we go right that's close enough. Right, so we want our limousines. So how many do we want though? We'll take it up to 50 grand, I think. Yeah, because then we've just got just over 100,000. I don't think it's even nearly full. Oh, so we managed to get 20. That's good. I think it's only two layers for the cows. And make sure that rear door's folding up. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Wonderful. Right, well, let's head back to the yard and uh, get them put into the into the animal pen. Cow pasture. Shame you can't decide what side you want to uh, drive on with this mod. Because the left hand drive does not feel right at all. Feels very alien. Oh, it's not that one. God, it has been a while. Especially since I've driven down this road. Uh, the first time I played this map was uh, when I had a PlayStation 4. So I got FS19 when I had a PlayStation 4 and um, I played it as soon as it came out on PlayStation and I can remember how long the wait was because the PC, PC people would have had them before and I just remember watching videos on it and always wanted to play this map so I played a lot of it on PlayStation 
because it was the first one that got released if I remember right and yeah I just really enjoyed it I'm glad to be back on it's exciting to be on the FA edition too oh we've just absolutely nailed over that tree again but yeah it's nice to be back on it I thought this series might end the uh, FS19 videos and move nicely onto the onto the 22 I will not worry about the chickens too much <laughs> let's open this gate up not that one thank you it's finding that point again there we go I think it might hit us oh no we're all right are you going to get enough swing in there before jackknifing? Ah, oh, just enough room. Not even jackknifed. How nice is that? There's no platform, unfortunately, to put the uh, bed on, so they're going to have to jump. <laughs> right, let's unfold it. And let's get them moved. We're going to have quite a big quite a big uh, cow well quite a full cow pasture sorry I'm sure we've got plenty enough room it's a big shed so I don't see why we wouldn't right we'll just go park this up and then make sure we've got everything we need for the cows in food and water wise Because we're going to be planting um, sugar beet in not field 18, is it 15? Yeah, field 15. I thought about getting the factory, the uh, beet sugar factory, so we can make some molasses and stuff with the extra because we're not going to need it all for the cattle. And I don't like selling it as just beet because you don't get a lot for it. And I definitely think it's worth a lot it's a bit of a waste and it can be worth a lot more if we do the molasses so yeah we might um, there's a space around the back here I did think behind the sheds and that derelict bit but I thought if we cut these trees down we can get a nice spot for it here and then with all the trees that we have we can put into our grain dryer which is going to help us massively because we're going to need as much wood chip as we possibly can get our hands on to make sure we can dry stuff and we're not going to, I don't think we're even need, going to need to dry things this season because we've only got soybeans which are going in 18 and sugar beet which is going in the other it's for the following season which is going to be canola so but at least then we're ready and uh, ready and raring to go Right, let's just have a look at the cattle. For now, they've got plenty, really. Um, sheep are fine. Chickens are fine. I bought some new, some more chicken feed and stuff. So yeah, they're all good. Let's go get some plants, some seeds drilled in the ground. So we're looking for clover. That's the one, and we do not want to put tram lines in this. So um, I'm going to have to try and turn the tram lines off I think you can I'm not 100% sure but we'll see um, gonna have to just park this here for now got enough room to fold it we'll put it more in the middle there we go should have plenty of room now we'll just jump out of it get this fear out of the way because we need to grab the seeds oh she sounds lovely didn't she we gave her a good clean and a uh, filled her up with diesel so she's full just gotta drop this off 
like so. And we'll just pick up the bag lifter. Which is just out here, I think. I remember if I remember rightly. It's here somewhere. Oh, we've gone past it. God that front window screen's a bit dirty. I do apologise. Oh, she's tight getting them. No, I managed to get them in there in the first place. Oh, I don't want to get it. Don't do this to me. Maybe if we go in like that. And then get them on the angle. Should be able to get them then. Lovely. See, um, I can do alright when I'm actually thinking and concentrating about it. <laughs> We'll just go round the side here, see if we can... Yeah, we can get it from this side. God, doesn't that John Deere look lovely on the front of that drill? And the drill is amazing, let's be honest. That's it, just chuck them off. That's what we wanted to do. <laughs> Not. There we go. That's better. Alright, hopefully we can uh, just lift this bag up enough so it can empty and then it can uh, hopefully it'll empty the whole lot into it. No, oh, stop swinging. Wonderful. And the ladder goes back up lovely. I think that should be enough seed for now. Uh, I think they carry 2,000 a bag. It could just be 1,000, I can't quite remember. But we can leave that there for now. And that drill is massive. Yeah, 2,000 a bag. Oh, that's right. Alright, let's get started and get cracking. So we're going to go to that top left-hand corner. I think I'm going to uh, drill it the same way I put the slurry on because either way is going to be you're going to have a longer and shorter piece so um, I'm not too worried about it if we turn those off is that just the is that just the tram lines we could just turn that off to 72 see if that's the tram lines shut off and then we'll start drilling. Unfold it. Well, it's not done a very good job of subsoil around it. Right, well. Let's crack on then, shall we? Let's get this clover sewn. Right, before we go any further, I want to do a GPS. That should be good now. Should just follow that. I do normally just do A B, but I did watch a video the other day of how to set the A heading, which was handy. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Is that leaving tram lines? Don't think it is, is it? Let's just jump out and make sure. No, it's not. So we've got tram lines turned off, which is brilliant. I wasn't 100% sure we could do that. Right, well, I'll get, get cracking with this job and, uh, yeah, catch up with you uh, soon.
There we have it guys, that's the end of uh, build 19, all done, clovered, let's have a look on here to make sure, and apparently I've put tram lines in which is rather annoying because I did not want to do that. See if we can notice them from up here. I can't even see them. Get that chainsaw off. Where are they? 
I reckon we've gone over them. Oh well, I can't see them. Sorry about my voice at the minute, it's uh, hay fever's killing me. Sneezing like mad, blocked nose, red eyes, oh it's doing me in. Right, so, that's that done. That took me a whole, I think it was about 25 minutes to do that um, drilling on that field, which is, uh, it's not the shortest of times, let's put it that way. I think while we're here, what we may as well do is um, fill up the old girl. Hopefully, that's all right, that is. I'll jump in the TM420, get a few more bags. I nearly hit those bales behind us then. Didn't see that in the mirror for a minute. Coming at an angle, we should get them relatively easy, he says. See if we can get four, shall we? It definitely won't take four, it might take three though, so worth taking all four and then uh, just drop back what we don't use. A bit far there. Oh, nice! We've managed to get full going at the same time. That's all right then. Ah, oh, yeah. I've just strapped him up. Forgot you could strap him up on here. Oh, we're just going to drop these here so they're a bit easier to collect. Or next time. That's where they can stay for now. Um, we'll jump into the John Deere again. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I did, did buy a little gator. Uh, just basically for getting chicken feed and any little bits and bobs sort of jobs we want to get done that are too small for a tractor really. Not worth it. We can do with the gator. We've got another pallet of wool. So we've got two full pallets so far, which is uh, good. The wool production's doing well. I just want to turn these on, and it wants to be at 36 meters because our um, sprayer is a 41 meter, but there's no 41 meter. 48 is too big, so it will we'll have a miss so we'll do 36 and have an overlap which is fine and this one wants to be soybeans that's the one I was trying to think then I couldn't think <laughs> yeah so this one wants to be soybeans um, if we put it on manual then it hopefully it keep on track one for going around twice and then the third time it will be the tram line which is good so what we'll do is we'll just leave that there for now. So I'm not going to do bore you with another uh, drilling episode. <laughs> um, we're just going to jump into the sprayer quickly and get that clover field sprayed. So hopefully that'll be all fertilizers will have been done, which is good. Hopefully it'll be at its top. It might need one more. Um, when it's going through its growth stage but we should be able to get one more on it now as we did subsoil in the slurry so it should take another one we just need to get rid of that bag lifter and get the pallet forks on Pallet forks are right here. That is honestly what I love about these uh, articulated. Um, I don't know what you'd call them. That's, they're a bit like a teleander, I suppose, but not quite. More like a loading shovel, but on a lot smaller scale. 
So we'll just pick the liquid fertilizer up like that. Done very nicely, I must say. Wasn't expecting to pick it up that clean. Oh, I know it's popped off the uh, pallet. Pallet forks, turn that off. Jump in here. Start filling her up. I think it should get the whole lot in easy, to be honest. It'd be nice if you could empty it back into the same IBC. Because I've got a feeling when I empty, depending on how much we use, um, it'll empty into two, which will be a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Right, so for this, I'm just going to go around the headland first. Um, and then we can just spray into it which will be good it's nice really nice having a big sprayer uh, I've not used a big sprayer in ages and I, I wasn't really a massive fan of the hardy one or the or the other one I can't remember the name of it I really wanted the Amazon one or a night one would have been nice but they don't have night equipment on here which is a little bit annoying and it looks like it's not going to take that fertilizer so what a waste of time that is <laughs> thought it might have done, I thought we might have got away with it but we haven't not to worry we can just leave that for now then I think it's still even too early to plant those soybeans actually um, I think it's more late spring you got to plant those so we might even have to leave that for the time being. Uh, nice. We'll scrape it down the uh, front of the new Scania. Big repairable on our hands. <laughs> well, what a bit of a pain that is, to be honest. Um, I don't know what we could do. Let's just double check on the soybeans when that's got to be done. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so late spring. So five, day five and day six. Um, the only other one that can be done is the sugar beet, if I'm right. Yeah, the sugar beet can be done. So what we're going to do is we'll leave this here for now. Leave that there. We're going to have to rent, because I'm not buying another planter, um, just for the sugar beet. I'm going to go for this, I think. Uh, it's the Kverland Optima RS. I've not used it before, so got a 9 metre working width, which is, I'd say that's pretty decent. It's not that much either, really, considering. And then we'll buy a bag of seed, um, just because it saves us coming all the way back to fill up. It takes just over one bag, so so this only needs 180 horsepower. I mean, we could just do it with a class, couldn't we? We'll jump out then. We'll hook that back up, and then we'll just jump in the class and uh, use that to do the drilling of the sugar beet because we're not used the class yet. Well, only to feed the the cows. We'll run to the shop then, we'll go down this dirt track because it's a bit quicker than going around the roadway. And uh, we'll pick up the planter. I'm excited to use it, it's going to be good. Here we go. I do find it great out. This is how you transport it and then you can just unhook and then hook up when you get into the field I think that's such a brilliant thing because it saves so much room in like yard storage and stuff like that okay brilliant so it's all filled up um, yeah I didn't realize it took fertilizer either which is really handy um, it just means we can we can fertilize at the same time which is good right there we go we've got all the tram lines set up ready to go um, I'll basically I'll put it in manual so hopefully we can go around and then I can turn it on when it needs to be turned on and uh, 
get this sugar beet planted into this field, which is going to be exciting. We've still got a lot of preparation to do um, if we want to do a factory as well. Cutting down trees and stuff like that, so... Yeah, we've got a, there's a lot of work to be done on this farm at the minute. Well, I suppose there's going to be every season really, but I think the first season especially because you're sort of setting up, getting, getting to grips with everything and yeah. That is some horrific driving by me. Jesus, no wonder that's not going to let me connect. There we are. Now she should go on nice. I mean, look at that. That is an incredible bit of kit. Right, I don't really know what we're doing with this. Lift it, unfold, I suppose. Unfold, but then it folds, so. That's all good. We've got sugar beet on. Right, let's go. Let's make a start of this. Just hope it doesn't set tram lines. And yeah, right, I'll get this cracked out then. Right guys, so there we have it. Sugar beet field is completed. All the tram lines are set in place. We'll just have a quick look, shall we? I think, I think I've done an all right job on it, to be honest. It's not too bad. Um, one thing though, is I totally forgot to use the actual fertilizer that we bought and put into the machine. Um, so what I'm just gonna do is take it, take it down to the yard um, unload all the stuff that's inside it because we have got a full tank of wait there turn the hood off to get a screenshot uh, oh, oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear yeah so we've got a full tank of fertilizer and I filled up the seeds just um, so we could empty it really it only had a little bit and I didn't just want a little bit in a pallet so yeah that's what we've done We'll just lower it here, press 5, there it is, it's all unloaded. Right, well, we'll take it off. No, don't do that. 5. Right, so we'll whip it off quickly. And because things like that cost so much, they can come pick it up. But yeah, overall, happy, really happy with how it's gone. Um, I'm just glad I got to do it. I wanted to do it really because I wanted to get used to the proceed before I did the video of me drilling the soya beans with that drill and the proceed. So yeah, that's why I've done it. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today, guys. I've hoped you, I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, keep well. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.